number zero, Lou Williams. Added by the guard, a 6'3 freshman from San Bernardino. Number three, Trevor Tiger. And by another guard, a 6'1 junior from Newark, New Jersey. Number 12, Mustafa Lawrence. And a forward, a 6'10 freshman from Las Vegas. Number 10, Orlando Robinson. And at the other four, a 6'8 senior from Las Vegas, number 32, Nate Grimes. Your sixth man from Wasco is Adrian. And coach of your Bulldogs is Justin Hudson. He's assisted by Keith Brown, Marcus Felton, and Tim Shelton. Russell Jones Jr.
sophomore year with the Bulldogs, PG was a top 20 sophomore NC2A scorer, averaging 16.8 points per game, and he scored a career-high 30 points in his first game back from injury that year. Meanwhile, as a freshman, PG quickly made national waves when the number one play of the day was on ESPN Sports Center after he dunked on a pair of St. Mary's defenders. He finished the season as one of the top 15 freshman scorers in the country, and Sports Illustrated called him the most entertaining player in the West. Paul was drafted number 10 overall in the 2010 NBA Draft and has gone on to play in six All-Star games and win a gold medal in the 2016 Olympics. And now, for only the second time in Fresno State basketball history, we retire the jersey of a player. Direct your attention to the top of section 123 as we unveil number 24, Paul George's jersey. Help us count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. so baggy on you back as a skinny Bulldog freshman and sophomore. <laughs> Therefore, immortality, as long as this arena is here, that 24 is going to be there. What does that feel like? Oh uh, man, it feels amazing uh, to do this here in this community. 18 years old. Um, I couldn't dream of this day ever coming. And uh, I'm just I'm thankful, I'm thankful to you for us knowing. Something just happened before the jersey came down. Did you get a little surprise over there before you walked onto the floor? Yeah, yeah. My guys came there. My guys came to the Clippers to come see me and support me. So, give them a round of applause. Welcome to here, Fresno. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not the school president or athletic director, but I think they're all right with me inviting you and all your Clipper friends to someday play an exhibition game here in the same art center. So, consider that your invitation. Mr. Ball, for everyone else. Now, your Clipper friends came here, but I saw there were some very special people sitting with you on the baseline as well. Do you want to recognize anyone that you brought along with you today? Yes, I have uh, my parents, my mom and dad, who've been uh, very supportive. Uh, my sister, to the right of them. My brother-in-law, my two nephews right there, to the right, to the left of my dad, my girl, my oldest daughter, my youngest daughter, my niece. What a beautiful, beautiful family. And one of the things we appreciate like you to share with the Red Wave here, your extended Bulldog family, what they have meant to you over your years, making six All-Star games, winning an Olympic gold medal, coming back from that awful injury. What have these Bulldog fans meant to you, Paul? Honestly, thank you guys. You guys mean the most to me. It's always love every time I come back here. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's always easy to come here uh, because you guys make it welcome. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys who have been here for me. Thank you guys. I've got two more questions for you. Let's turn around and say hi to these ones for a second here too. They're all Bulldog fans. How soon are we going to see you on the floor for the Clippers and what should we expect when you make that LA Clipper debut? Uh, it should be soon, sooner than later. Uh, very hopeful uh, for the weeks that's coming up that I'll be out there on the floor with my guys. Uh, but, you know, as my Logan or, or as my slogan is, sky's the limit, uh, we want to win one. And you just watched the first half. The dogs were starting a little slow shooting from the perimeter, but they had that 11-0 run to close the second half. 
What did you see in that very small sample of Coach Hudson's style of Bulldog basketball that has you encouraged for the future of Fresno State Hoops? Oh, well, it's, it's early. They're just, they're still waking up. You know, it's an early game, they're still waking up. Uh, but, I, you know, I've seen a lot of potential, um, a lot of athleticism, a lot of skill. Um, we're in good hands, right? Well, Paul, on behalf of all these people who have packed the St. Mark Center today, so many watched you here playing for the Bulldogs. Now they've seen your number 24 from the Rafters. We just want to say congratulations. Thank you for being Bulldog born, Bulldog bred. Keep making us proud. And God bless you. Thanks so much. All right, thank you, man. That is Paul George. And now we have athletic director Terry Toomey. We have Paul's coach at Fresno State, the great Steve Cleveland. Presenting Paul with a framed version of his number 24 jersey. You see his coach from the Clippers, Doc Rivers, here with him as well, and so many of his Clippers teammates. And in addition to that framed jersey that Paul is being presented, you guys have to catch this. We have the Executive Director of Government Relations for Fresno State, Larry Salinas, is going to bring Paul a proclamation from the city of Fresno. From this day forward, November 10th, 2019, will always be Paul George Day in the city of Fresno. Thank you, Paul George family. Thank you, LA Clippers. Once again, a round of applause for the one, the only, number 24, Paul George. Hunter Hale, number 13, in the Winthrop lineup, replacing Michael Anuba.
seconds remaining. Time.